Hi, Mrs. Stump. Hi. How are you doing today? Great. Hey, I'm Eric Hagenor with Ed's Heating and Cooling. Here to do your tune-up today. Come on in. Thanks. Well, I'm here to do an air conditioning tune-up today, and I always start off down at the furnace. Uh, main thing, I'm checking the filter, I'm checking out the blower, and I check the bearings on that blower as well. Um, see if it's neat and cleaned at all and offer options to the customer. Then once I'm finished downstairs at the furnace, I'll be heading on out to the air conditioner. And biggest thing out there, once again, checking the coil out there, making sure it's not dirty. Once I'm done with that, I check the refrigerant charge, um, check the amp draw on the compressor and also on the outdoor fan. And that's about it. First, I'm gonna be adjusting the thermostat down just to make sure I know how the air conditioner is running. First, I'm going to be taking off the doors. Check the condition of everything in here. I always write down the model and serial number of each furnace I work on, just so we have it for our future references and if we ever need to get parts for this, we don't have to come back out and get the model and serial number. One of the first things I like to do when doing air conditioning tune-up is checking out the temperature split going into the furnace and coming out of the furnace. Generally, for air conditioning, you're looking for a 15 to 20 degree temperature split. And right now we have 69 going in, and then 55, 56, I'd say 56 coming out. We we'll leave a 13 degree temperature split. The 13 degree difference is a little bit lower than we're looking for. We're looking for anywhere between 15 and 20 degrees. So that tells me that it might be low on charge. It's an older system, so it wouldn't surprise me. It could be dirty. The filter could be plugged. It could be a lot of different things. Let's get into it. All right, next I'll be checking the blower motor amp draw. The amp draw tells me if it's running high, if it's running low, if there might be a problem with the bearings inside of the blower motor, if anything needs to be touched on. So right here where I'm pointing is the door switch. That door switch is a safety feature. Once you take off this door, it will release that switch and shut off the unit. So it has all the current drawing off of it right now. Give me a blower reading, a 3.9. Right now, I'm trying to remove the filter. Seems to be caught up. Got it. See that right there? That's what's snagging the filter. So I'll just push that right back in there. I'm gonna go outside, grab a filter. I wanna check that coil. There's the coil. Right now, you can take a look at that indoor coil. I need to look inside of it being an upflow, see if it's dirty. Be right back now. Sometimes I wish I had three hands. This is my Verabit. It can cut all different size holes inside the ductwork. Mainly use it when I'm doing duct cleanings, but sometimes I use it to access the indoor coils. Since I got my starter hole, I'll go ahead and start with uh, cutting out a bigger hole so I can access the coil. A lot of people think an air conditioner brings cold air into the house. That's not necessarily true. What it's actually doing is extracting the hot air from the house and taking it outside. This is the return side going into the furnace, so it's an upflow furnace. If it's gonna get dirty, it's gonna get dirty from the inside. All right, now I'm gonna be using the video scope to inspect the inside of that coil, see whether it's dirty or not. I have the camera here, scope, a mount for the camera. All right, now that we have the video scope on, as you can see here, it's actually fairly clean. So there's plenty of airflow going through. 
This is a metal tape that actually is for cold environments. It won't ever lose its stickiness. And when we come back, we're gonna be checking the coil later on in the future. It'll be an easy access for whoever gets at it. Now for the coil inside of here, it has a drain pan below it to allow that condensation to flow out. This condensation is actually flowing out here and going into this condensate pump. Whenever we run into one of these, we always take it apart and clean them out. That's all the condensation that was being pumped out of this condensate pump. I think you're going to be shocked by what you see. Now, moment of truth. One more thing that we always add uh, after cleaning the condensate pump is these algicide tablets. These tablets, they uh, help clear up any gunk, debris that might build up in the condensate pump and into the condensate drain line. So that'll help uh, over the years and put those in there, put the plug back in, that's good to go. A lot of people don't think to clean the inside of the furnace doors, but I do just because if there's anything that's going to usually cause problems, it's going to be a mechanical malfunction with the furnace or it just being overly dirty. So I just try to clean everything off as thoroughly as possible before I put it all back together. Finally, turn it back on. Now that we're finished up, we're going to head on outside and check out that air conditioner. Well, what I had to do outside, first thing, after cleaning the coils, turn it back on through the disconnect, had it run for a little while, let it dry out from the water and everything being sprayed on it. Then from there, I connect my gauges. That gives me an accurate reading of what the refrigerant charge is in the system. That's why I had to clean the coil first, just because it's working harder to get through that compressor. So after cleaning it, hooked up the gauges, and then I'm looking for my superheat. My superheat is the difference between the saturation level and also the line temperature of the suction line from the blue line that was connected, it correlates together to give me my superheat. From there, that gave me a great reading of 10 degrees. That's right around where I want it to be. And then also checking the amp draws on the compressor and the outdoor fan gave me more accurate understanding whether everything's working right. So everything was checking out just fine. Button back up and that was it.